How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I am fishing Lake Sutherland in Ramona, California. This was the first lake I ever fished in San Diego. The first lake I ever kayak fished in San Diego. Long time ago. And I've only been to this lake probably five to ten times in my life. Um, if it was closer to my home, I would fish it a lot more. It's a lake where you can power fish, a little bit dirtier water, a lot less pressure. I hope I get on some post-spawn giants looking to feed up and, and recover from the spawn. I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And let me know what you guys think of the video. Stay tuned. Fish on, guys. On the old Skirmish Baits M9. Alright, let him go. Alright guys. Might be kind of hard to hear me with the wind, but just anchored up off a spot where if you see the shore, there's some boulders. There's obviously some stick ups all around here. I'm in about six feet of water where I'm at anchored. Um, just a good spot for bass to be waiting to ambush some shad for the shad spawn. It's got a pretty wide wobble, it's loud. It's got a black back, a, a gold shine tent with some silver. It's cricket shad, it's my favorite color. I'll show you guys what it looks like. But it's capable of catching, you know, clear water bass, dark water bass. Um, by far my favorite crankbait. Paint's really held up a ton. Doesn't chip off. It's a skirmish baits M9 square bill and the one knocker. Probably, uh, my favorite dark dark water is the one knocker. Favorite dark water, shallow. There's a fish. Oh man, he is kicking my butt. Get out of the sticks. Get out of the sticks. Man, that is a strong fish. And I am anchored and I'm in trouble. I am anchored and I am in trouble. Oh gosh. I'm gonna this is a good one guys I'm trying to pop my anchor right now free so he can pull me all right anchors up anchor is up whoa and the paddles wrapped in the anchor come on man are you serious Trying to keep pressure on the fish. I don't know if the fish is still on, guys. It doesn't feel like it's still on. I just, I cannot catch a break right now. Oh my gosh, this is a nightmare. If I land this fish, it is a freaking miracle. Oh, it's a giant carp. Oh my gosh. I snagged a carp, guys. Oh, I thought this was a massive bass. You idiot.
<sighs> Way to ruin it. I hate you. And it got my hopes up. I hate carp. Oh, look at that giant. Giant. Lake Sutherland stud. It's just the, the bait uh, makes it look small. Uh, big hands. I got huge hands. Giant. Oh, stay down, you giant. Uh oh. Sutherland Giants fighting kind of hard. The heck? Man, this fish is fighting hard for a little guy. Jeez. There you go. Oh, that was fun. It's fish number four. All right, guys, I've picked up three fish in the past 10 minutes. Yeah. I got boulders all right here. I've got stick ups all out in front of me. I'm in about six feet I'm casting over in this direction, parallel to the shore where all the boulders are and some stick ups. And I've been able to pick up three pretty small fish, but let's see if I can pick up another one for you guys. Kind of cast to catch. Um, again, I'm bumping into anything I could bump into, deflecting that. Uh... Oh, I just lost one. Uh, I found a, a pretty good little, uh, you know, what seems to be school right here. They're small. Let's see if I could pick up another one. You know, they're all 12 to, to 14 inches. I'm gonna stand up. We got my my brush gripper back there locking me down in pretty strong winds. I'm sure you guys can hear it. You can definitely see it. So all I'm doing is just deflecting off these boulders and these stick ups. I'm getting bit. I've got four bites in probably the last 10 minutes off this spot. They're all tiny fish, small, um, small little aggressive ones. This wind is, is, uh, has not been fun today, we'll put it that way. The weather report said, oh, that feels like a good one. Oh, stay down, buddy. Oh, he's coming towards the boat. A little bit better one. We'll get the net just for fun. Yeah, I've been able to just pick fish off this spot. Um, yeah, that ain't a bad one. That's fun. It ain't gonna set the world on fire or put me in the record books, but that's it. Saw a little 15 incher, I bet. All right, not a bad one. A little 15 incher. They're all piled up right here. Woo! And again, that's the that's the cricket shad from Skirmish Baits. Um, I got real dirty water. That's more of a natural color, but it's doing the job today. That's I think fish six or seven. So been pretty fun. I'm gonna stick around here and see if I could pluck a, a little bit more off this. Uh, little boulder flat all right guys just picked up fish number six or seven uh, i've picked up like five from this spot right here um, little boulder flat four feet i'm um, having a, a blast doing it it's fun um, just deflecting this m9 square bill cricket shad color which has proven to be a you know more than just my favorite clear water square bill it's actually turned out to be pretty decent in the dirty water as well nope 
I'm getting trigger happy on the hook sets now. Um, there's just a good solid little group of fish in this spot. Oh! Fish on! Get in here, buddy. There it is, guys. Man. I'll tell you what. I have found them. And this... Ah, oh, come on, settle down. And again, they're not, you know, they're nothing to brag about, but in San Diego, everybody wants to throw, everybody wants to throw the finesse and the drop shot and the shaky head and the Cinco. But you don't always have to do that. Talked to another guy in a kayak today about 10 minutes ago. He hadn't had a single bite and he was throwing the drop shot. Little chunky guy, they're eating well. Later fish. Now the square bill is, uh, you know, obviously I'm bouncing it off and deflecting. That's what the, what the purpose of the square bill is, is deflect this bait off cover. Oh, I just had a hit and missed him. Come on, come back. Come back. You're deflecting this bait off cover. You're getting reaction bites. Come on, baby. Let's see if I can pick this guy up. Start getting some distance on these casts. Let's see if I can get some more in the same area. also got this wind you know this is a wind blown little flat so if you've got a bunch of wind and current that cast is gonna be a fish oh I told you stay down buddy he's you know decent oh he's running towards the kayak or he's just tiny. <laughs> I'm gonna let you go, I promise. I don't want to eat you. Gosh, you're just gonna, you're gonna give yourself a concussion. Chill out, man. Okay, that's it. Man, that thing is tore up. I don't think my crankbait did that to his lip, but. All right, bye fish. Get bigger. Tell your parents. All right, guys, I don't know if you could see that uh, chunk rock over there with the sun, but that's the type of stuff when I'm square bill fishing or actually just crankbait fishing, or period. You've got pretty much the same shoreline all over this lake uh, which is like a clay or a mud and then you come up to an area and it's got something like that where it's you know pretty unique Ooh, felt like a bite pretty unique uh, compared to everything else that's the type of stuff that fish are gonna hold at for whatever reason And, you know, that should catch your eye if you're cranking and you kind of are trying to figure out, you know, where I should, where I should be throwing. Um, of course, right now I'm battling this wind and it's a strong wind, so. I'm going to try to position myself where I can parallel down that. Also, it looks pretty steep compared to the rest of the shore, so. It's definitely an area... That should pique your interest. So as you can see, I've made four or five casts in this area. Um, but you never know when all of a sudden you've casted in the same spot, you know, four, five, six, seven times. 
and then all of a sudden you get bit. Who knows why that happens? Maybe those fish were there the whole time. Maybe they just came in, um, you know, to come get a closer look at your bait, and then the next cast they were there and they they took it. I don't really know if anybody knows that answer. I mean, they can say they know the answer, but unless you're a fish, you don't really know the answer. Fish on. So that's a perfect example. Get away from the fish finder. You're not supposed to see that. That was a perfect example, come on, of what I was just talking about. You know, I had cast it in that spot who knows how many times for nothing. And then all of a sudden, right next to that chunk rock and right next to the kayak, this fish comes out of nowhere. hits it. I'm trying to hurry because I'm getting blown around here, but not a bad one. A little 14 incher. Go get big, buddy. All right, guys. I am having all sorts of funky business going on with my GoPros today. Apparently... There's the chunk rock, little secondary point. I'm obviously approached from the opposite end. I'm using the wind to my advantage now to help me. Um, first cast, right when I'm pulling back to cast, the camera shuts off. First cast, I stick a good one. A oh, good one compared to what they've been, two and a half, three pounds. Um, so I knew it was gonna happen right when the camera died, very first cast down this this chunk rock from this side, I hook one. And uh, it was, I mean, it was dead. It went beep, 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 you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, died. And then right when it died, I mean, in the middle of it telling me it was dead, yeah, I get bit. And I, of course, it's the biggest one of the day, but it was, you know, basically what I said was, here I am approaching it from a different angle, have the wind to help me out, and then boom, he slammed it. So exactly what, you know, is supposed to happen, you get this chunk rock, you get this secondary point, and the fish cooperate. So that's two fish I've pulled off this point. I'm not convinced there's only two fish here. I'm, I'm convinced I can get at least one more. Especially with that, the size of the last one, it, you know, it, that was a, a real fish, it felt like. Um, you know, right when it hit, I knew it was going to be a decent one. What in the world is going on right now? What is happening? Just a random wild horse the scariest animal on the planet. For those of you that don't know, I am terrified of horses. Horse, what are you doing? What is? What are you doing? Where's your owner? Horse, where's the fish? You know, he's probably telling me, right? Probably telling me to hold my horses. That's why you guys should subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, that's why you should subscribe. I can't fish, but I could tell some killer dad jokes. I'm curious if this horse will just come up to me. I'm terrified of horses though. Do I do 
it. Do I just go for it? They're so big and strong and they would like to kick you in the face. I'd like to know who the first dude was that looked over, saw that massive animal, just hundreds of pounds of solid muscle and thought, you know what? I want to ride that thing. Cause that dude had some stones, but I think I'm going to go for it. How often can you say that <clears throat> you met a horse while fishing? And these are my favorite crackers. These are incredible. This horse should feel special. Belvita cinnamon brown sugar. Horse, take a cracker. There you go. Eat the cracker, horse. Horse update. This horse does not like me. No. Oh. Well, he hit it, came off, and then took a hook to the back of the dome piece. Sorry, buddy. I don't want to hook in my dome piece. There we go. I'll be honest, I wasn't ex uh, I wasn't expecting that fish. Still doing the same thing, you know, square bill on. He came, if you guys can see that little stick up right there. He came off that stick up, but if you see the bank, you know, bare muddy bank like that no real structure and then you've got that one stick up out there off that small little point that's where it came from see you buddy not sure if you guys can see that but another good example of the terrain being drastically different than everything else along the shoreline you know you've got this flat clay mud right here and then you come over just a little bit and you've got that steep point you know, it looks like different levels, some chunk rock on there. Looks like a harder, harder soil or a harder clay. Chunk rock, you've got all these stick ups. Um, just a spot that looks good. I would ideally like to clip in right there. All right, game on. Now you let the wind, you know, put yourself in position. Got the brush gripper anchored you down, and then make your casts. Perfect. All right, one more cast. I'm surprised we, I didn't pick anything up from this spot. I mean, you've got boulders, you've got trees, you've got a fish. Ugh. That's a better one. Come on, don't do that. There we go. Well, like I said, should have picked one up. Picked one up. That's a chunky little fella right there. We'll put him on the board. We'll see if he can go 17. 16 and a half. Not a bad one at all. Uh, starting to fatten up. Fun fish. ESPN update, Matthew Bray just stuck a piggy 
That's not what it says. It might say it. I don't know. I don't think so, though. Not a bad one. <laughs>